Hello, beautiful people. It is Alexis, and I am back with another vlog, but this time we are at Moon Palace the Grand. When we checked in, we got a fresh flower and some champagne and a personal ride over to our room. And when we got to our room, we did have a little mishap because we ordered one king size bed. When we got there, it was two doubles or queen size beds. And we had the option of staying there and waiting for another room to be ready or switching the next day or later that evening. But we ended up staying there. We didn't feel like moving our belongings to another room. And we ended up having a very great location right across from Los Tacos and walking distance from the lobby. Our room that we were going to be switched to was in the entire back of the resort. I said, no, please, let's just stay right here. It's perfect. But as you see, the room is beautiful. The hot tub inside, the patio, everything, the huge shower complemented with chi products. I loved everything about this resort. Like I have minimal complaints about the room and everything like that, especially because it came with an open bar that you pour your own drinks, fresh chasers, uh, mango juice, cranberry juice, and all those things, and unlimited snacks. What? Who doesn't like unlimited snacks? So I personally didn't utilize this bar a lot, but I did have my fair share of drinks. And we went directly over to Los Tacos when we got there and I stripped down and I put on my bathing suit. I said, one thing I won't do this vlog is rob you guys of seeing how beautiful that I am. <laughs> so they told us to download the app because that's how we had to make our dinner reservations and kind of find our way around the resort. So we started off at Los Tacos and it was pretty good. The mojitos there were excellent. We took a cart to the front so we could go find some food because a lot of the places to eat at were actually very central to the front desk. We didn't realize until later that our room was right next to the front and we took a tram all the way around, which was nice because we did get a nighttime tour. But this is where the spa is located. The smoothie bar is actually inside of the spa and the fitness center is right across from it so we did spend a lot of time here so we walked right upstairs and there's the tapas bar there's wine some of the wines are free and a, a couple of them are an additional cost but there was charcuterie boards they were huge it was beautiful i didn't actually get to try them i feel like i didn't eat as much as i wanted to but i was full so this is the lobby bar and we did spend a lot of time here because First off, the drinks were like amazing there. I'll get on that very soon. But this is the 24-hour cafe and the sandwiches were to die for. I'm usually the sweets person, but this trip, I really scaled back on my sweet tooth. But they definitely had a lot to offer. Macaroons and truffles and chocolate cakes. And I had some really, really delicious sandwiches. I was pleasantly surprised. Up first, the Grand Buffet. When we walked in, it was almost empty. And it was so much food, but everything was soggy and dried out. It was disgusting. I really was disappointed. I said, oh my gosh, please don't let the whole trip be like this. I think it's just because no one came in that they refreshed the food. And I was disappointed. This is a really expensive resort. Please do better. <laughs> But they did. They did redeem themselves. So we did go to La Tavola and got some pizzas. There's me. <laughs> a fresh salad. We got a few appetizers and a few drinks there. My drink there, I don't know if the bartender thought I loved it, but it was so strong I couldn't even drink it. And the employees were watching me in the corner drink it. <laughs> and I almost spit it out. It was so strong. And then I got my pepperoni pizza. My friend ordered a seafood pizza that looked delicious, but I barely finished my pizza. Then we wandered off to the club. We saw the club door open. So we said, okay, well, it's 11, 12 o'clock. The club should, you know, have some people in there, you know? So we get there and there's no one there. The club is empty. I was like, oh no, what's going on? And we asked someone and they said that the clubs rotate on the days that they're open because all the people from three resorts come to one club. So there's actually a crowd, 
which makes a lot of sense, but we didn't know. So we had to wait until the next day, which was the club night for Moon Palace, the Grand. And that sidecar passion, y'all, that drink had me in a chokehold. It was so good. You have to try it if you go. And the next day, we woke up at the crack of dawn to go to a timeshare presentation to get some spa amenities and things like that and get some credits. And I did become a member. I can't lie. The resort is amazing. And I would absolutely not mind going. And we got upgraded wristbands because as a member, you do get access to the spa as much as you like. The pool, the steam room, the sauna, the whole shebang. And oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was so zen. Y'all. I cannot make this up. It felt like a dream. It was so amazing. Even the area where you relax at before you get your massage. This spa was well worth it. And I love that that's an amenity for becoming a member. Like I can do that every single day to start my day. That's how perfect it was. And then of course there's me again. And there is the infamous smoothie bar, smoothie bowls, fresh toast, all those things. I love this because I like to start my day out with a smoothie anyway. So the fact that I could walk right over here and get a fresh smoothie, I didn't have to have a heavy breakfast every morning or anything like that. I really, really loved the addition of very healthy items and it really did help jumpstart my day. So I got myself a berry smoothie each and every morning. And then the buffet, it changes every night like there's a different theme i think the night that we ate there on the first day we were there it was lebanese then the next day it was asian and so on and so forth Today's my friend's actual birthday and we were recommended to go to Cusco because it is an all seafood restaurant and my friend is a pescatarian and we get there, we look at the menu and it's literally all ceviche, like everything. And it was off to a terrible start, like everything was cold and we told the manager and the manager made sure that did not happen again. You hear me? The manager did not play that. So our entrees was a tamarind basted like sea bass and it was delicious. The stir fry as well, it was good. It just started getting better and better after the appetizers. And we got some desserts. We tried about three or four desserts and they were very, very good as well. We stumbled into the library bar and listen, it told me at first that it was at the sunrise and then we realized we walked past a bookshelf, which was actually the door to the bar. And when we looked inside, we were like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I love the theme. And it was a very much underutilized area because no one was ever in there. We went in there two times during our whole stay, but I really did like this bar. But it was actually very, very quiet. But the theme alone needed to be saying a lot of praises. It was a lot of thought into this bar. And I just wish it had a little bit more excitement in it. It just needed to be a little bit more upbeat. Everyone was so chill and very quiet. I mean, I'm sure that's probably how it's supposed to be. It could be due to COVID that the club party scene is kind of dead. But I've actually never been on a destination trip 
prior to COVID, but I do realize that the club atmosphere is very dull and it's not what I hoped it would have been because it really depends on the crowd of people that comes at the time that you are traveling, the DJ. I noticed that they play just whatever and they don't care if they repeat the songs, but maybe it's different in the summertime. But I did order room service an hour before we got back to our room and we made it there right on time. Our food was hot and fresh. I cannot complain. The room service was top tier, guys. Now get ready to laugh because we did jetpacking. I've never done this before, but it was fun. Watch. personally really enjoyed this excursion. I can say that it was very, very pricey and the video footage was $100. They did charge my friend's card an extra $20. So if you do come, make sure that you bring cash because spare yourself getting scammed extra money. They shouldn't have done that and it wasn't right. So you see the company, <laughs> but they do have a lot of different activities here. I just highly recommend bringing cash to save yourself trouble on the back end this might have been the best ride back that we've had the whole trip hey happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, you. when we got back from our excursion i saw this lighting up and you know it caught my attention if you don't know i love burlesque love it so we did have dinner reservations at moon palace sunrise that evening anyway which happened to be the same hotel that had the club noir and let me tell you the hibachi restaurant is very very hard to get into i booked it on the first day we got there and we had reservations on the fourth day that we were there the reservations were very hard to come by for that restaurant and the la chateau so we grabbed a few crepes and ice cream and we wandered around the resort for a little bit I had to look into the fitness center because I did bring workout clothes and I did not ever work out. <laughs> but this fitness center was elite. It, it had everything that you wanted. Cycling centers, movie rooms, all the free weights. It was amazing. One day I planned to actually work out on vacation. I packed the clothes every single time and it never happens. My body's like, Alexis, just relax. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe yoga at the very least. I can't say too many bad things about Moon Palace. The resort's amazing. The staff is amazing. They really make you feel that you're at home. So kudos to them for that. And I love the fact that they have chlorophyll water out at the gym. Y'all know I drink chlorophyll water every single day, right? That's why my skin is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So I love the fact that I didn't have to skip my regimen from home. I got chlorophyll water every single time that I passed the gym. We wandered into the day club for the Latin day party and seafood fest. It was a raw oyster bar, ceviches grilled shrimp grilled crawfish i really enjoyed this i loved this day spa we spent like half a day here i fell asleep in the hot sun woke up burning up like this was easily the hottest day on the entire trip and i loved that we got to spend it out in the sun having a good time eating things that we like we love oysters we love grilled seafood so it was absolutely perfect
jumped on the bus and we headed over to the Moon Palace Sunrise for our hibachi reservation and for the burlesque show. And we actually were sat next to a bunch of children that were there for a gymnastics competition. So they were just asking me so many questions because I told them that, you know, I had a bunch of TikTok followers and they thought that was the coolest thing in the world. And I love kids, so I was highly entertained. And I've actually never seen a female hibachi chef, like ever. And her name was Africa. I was like, this is so cool. The food was good. And... I really had no complaints. This was a wonderful experience. We had the appetizers and y'all know I love sushi now. So I ordered like three rounds of sushi. I got my fried rice. We had our yum yum sauce and I did order the filet and shrimp because that's always what I get when I get hibachi and I did drown it in a bunch of teriyaki sauce. They had this French toast with cinnamon apples and matcha ice cream. I didn't know how to feel about it, but it was so good when I tried it. The pool there was so beautiful and the lobby was kind of the only place that people had to congregate in the sunrise and the days that the club was open. When I tell y'all this club was packed, this club was packed to capacity. I couldn't even believe it. And y'all know I was excited for this burlesque show. <laughs> club festivities the very next day one thing on our bucket list was to go to the water park and to our surprise some of the slides were closed but the lazy river was open and the surfing activity was open which you guys are about to laugh at me again because i was struggling <laughs> After my treacherous surfing experience, we did go get into the lazy river for a few minutes and they did have an air dryer. So if you didn't want to walk around the resort, obviously cold, they did have a like human air dryer as we're coming past it right now. A lot of kids were playing in it and we did hurry up and go to Los Tacos before it closed because it did close early to grab another mojito. We showered and ran over to the Grand Buffet for lunch. And I got some pasta. It was really, really good. And they had like sushi boats this time. And I grabbed a bunch of sushi. I think I ate sushi the most on this trip. We were told the first time that we visited Moon Palace that there was no beach. We were like, how is it not a beach? But to our surprise, there is a beach. It's just not beautiful. And this is a restaurant that we did not get a chance to eat at. So we scrolled past, we grabbed a drink at the lobby bar, and then we went to go check out the beach ourselves. And we were completely underwhelmed. All the seaweed, the dark waters, this is completely different from where we stayed the last time. In the hotel zone, the water was clear. It was beautiful. The sand, everything. This was the most depressing beach I literally ever seen. So we did not stay long. We grabbed our stuff and started getting ready for later and that is me looking good and ready to hit the town and we did another stroll as usual and this is Casa Mia and La Catina that is two restaurants in one then we had two dinner reservations 
One at Jade and the other at the steakhouse very, very late. This was our last night, so we did want to get in as much as we possibly could. So we started off at Jade. I did try the ramen. I was not a fan, and I love ramen. It just tasted like oodles and noodles with a piece of pork belly and seaweed on it. But the drinks there were very good, and you know why we're here. Let's be real here. I came here for the sushi, and I did want to try the ramen. The ramen disappointed me, but the ambiance and the sushi... And the drinks made up for that. We tried a bunch of different rolls, a crispy roll, a ceviche roll. They were on a roll with this daggone ceviche at all the restaurants, okay? But it was cool. It was very, very different. And the fried rolls, I've never actually had a fried roll either. So we did go bowling while we waited for our dinner reservation at the steakhouse. The bowling alley was definitely a good vibe. And they did give you socks because I definitely needed them. Now, let me tell you about this. We already were full from Jade, but we had reservations already. And if you cancel your reservation, they do charge you a fee. So we went. I got the bone marrow because I wanted to get it. I just wanted to try it. And of course, it still just tastes like grease and it was covered in salt. The clam chowder, very bland, very, very bland. We both asked for salt and pepper. I got my steak with high hopes that it would get better. Eh, my steak was like medium rare i did ask for medium so they had to throw it back on the grill then the cream spinach was absolutely horrible horrible and you can't mess up potatoes so the potatoes were fine i ordered the chocolate lava cake thinking that it would be nice and warm no it was ice cold i don't know if it was because we were the last customers and they just did not care anymore but i could definitely do without that experience if i had to do it all over again we did go to the room and we made as many drinks as we could bear and relaxed okay this is our last few hours at the resort we did call the luggage personnel and he came and got us and our luggage he took our luggage called our chauffeur we went to the grand buffet to have our last few bites to eat and at last few drinks our chauffeur was an hour late we thought they were being dramatic about the construction because we did not see it when we came but he was 100% one hour late and our ride went from $12 to $100 because I don't know what the issue was with the scheduling, but they kind of tricked us on that and I didn't like that. But we did have a private ride. Thank goodness. We probably would have missed our flight because we were like right on time and all that food I put in my stomach. I definitely passed out sleeping there. And it's a wrap. That was my trip to Moon Palace, the Grand in Cancun. If you go visit, make sure you let me know how you like it. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next vlog. See you.